Hi everybody, today we are going to see about the different components of a computer. The main components are keyboard, mouse, monitor, motherboard, processor, RAM, power supply, CD-ROM, DVD-ROM and we have sound cards, speakers and modem. When someone says keyboard, immediately before this technological era, everybody will think about musical keyboard. But now everybody will think about computer keyboard. When someone says mouse before this technological era, people will think about this mouse. But now if I say mouse, you will think about the computer mouse. Now let us see all about computers. Only exclusive on Educrawl. This is a PS2 connector keyboard. The PS2 port is a 6 pin min DIN connector used for connecting keyboards and mice to PC compatible computer system. Now let us see the next type of keyboard. It is a internet keyboard. A internet keyboard contains buttons for common internet function such as launching the web browser, email application and controlling the volume. You can see a refresh button and other buttons are available in this internet keyboard. This is a very very useful keyboard which will be useful when you are using internet functions often. This is also a PS2 type connector keyboard. This you can connect to the PS2 socket. Next keyboard is a USB keyboard. A USB keyboard is a standard keyboard that goes into the most powerful, useful and popular port of your computer. The USB port. The U stands for universal. S stands for serial. B stands for bus. Nearly all keyboards on the market today use USB port instead of outdated PS2 keyboard ports. Now let us see about the old ball mouse. Most mouse move roughly around 8000 PA by default. You can see this is the ball that is inside this old mouse you can see there are some rollers which can track the movement of the mouse based on that the mouse will be moving the cursor you can see when the ball rolls the cursor will be moving in the monitor you can see this is a scrolling button left click right click so both clicks are available here now let us see the next type of mouse this is a ps2 optical mouse you can see here this mouse use PS2 connector to connect to the computer. This C this is similar to the previous mouse but here you can see the left click right click the scrolling but the LED light optical light based on that the cursor will be moving. Now let us see the next type of mouse it is the optical mouse An optical mouse is a computer mouse which uses light source typically a light emitting diode and light detector you can see the left click right click and the scrolling option this is using the usb to connect to the computer you can see an array of photo diodes is used to detect movement relative to the surface you can see the difference between the usb connector and the ps2 connector the old one and the new one a mouse that connects to the computer without a card is called as wireless mouse. Most wireless mice connect to computers through a receiver you plug into a USB port which pick up a wireless signal from the mouse and converts it to a USB signal. The computer can understand with the USB connection there is no need for any special configuration or setup to begin using the mouse basic functionality. A Bluetooth mouse is a computer mouse that uses radio waves to communicate wirelessly with the computer. Bluetooth mice are mobile, have a great range and can be used with many different devices. A floppy disk or floppy diskette 
is a type of disk storage composed of a thin and flexible disk of a magnetic storage medium in a square or nearly square plastic enclosure lined with the fabric that removes dust particles from the spinning disk. There are different types of floppy disk. You can see in this figure there is a 2 inch floppy disk, 3 inch floppy disk, 5.25 that is 5 1 by 4 inch floppy disk. You have 3.5 inch floppy disk. You can have 8 inch floppy disk. There are different types of floppy disk like this based on the size as well as the design. This is a floppy disk box. You can see you can keep around 10 floppies in this box. Let me show this floppy disk. You can see this can be opened like this. You can see inside this there is a small circular disk which rotates here there is a read write option if you close this it will only read the disk if you want to write you have to open this now let us insert this floppy disk inside the floppy disk drive if you press this button it will eject the disk from the computer drive now you can see this is a 3.5 inch floppy disk drive where you can save a large amount of data. The storage capacity of this floppy disk is 1.44 MB. This is a 3.5 inch floppy disk. A compact disk also called a CD is a storage device that are small plastic disks which store and retrieve computer data or music using light. This is a 700 MB storage capacity CD. This is a CD drive. You can insert this CD into the CD drive. People wanted speed data transfer which could be achieved by spinning the disk more quickly under a more sensitive laser. This is a CD which uses 52x speed that is constant angular velocity 52 into 1.2 meter per second that is 62.4 meter per second. CD read write is a digital optical disk storage format introduced in the year 1997. A CD read write compact disk can be written, read, erased and rewritten. CD read writes as opposed to CDs require specialized readers that have sensitive laser optics. DVD or digital versatile disc or digital video disc is similar to a CD-ROM in that you can store only read data from it. You can see this is a 4.7 GB DVD. It is a read DVD. This is a DVD drive which can be used for both reading as well as writing. The main difference between a DVD R, it is a recordable DVD format similar to CDR. A DVD RW is an erasable disk that can be reused like a CD read write. So this is a 4x DVD read write. Till now we have seen the details about a floppy disk, CD disk and a DVD disc. This is an external DVD writer. You can see here this is a Transcend Company DVD writer which can be connected to the computer. You can see this is a DVD writer which is an internal one. This one which I am having is an external DVD writer. You can see here you can use these cables to connect to the USB port. There are dual USB port is available so that you can use this as a DVD writer. Unlike an internal drive which is a nested family inside your computer, an external hard drive is a device that you plug into a computer port. An external hard drive gives you more storage space to keep your data. You can see 
like this you can connect this to your computer using the USB now let me show you how to connect this external hard disk to your computer I am connecting the two USB plugs to the USB ports now you can see this will give you more space you can see the size of the hard disk is 250 GB now you have different types of external hard disk you can see in this picture we have different uh, sizes starting from 1 terabyte to 16 terabytes which is the maximum capacity till now now let us see the parts inside this CPU that is the central processing unit of the computer let me show you all the parts inside this the first one is the CD drive you can see this is the CD drive next one is the floppy disk drive this is the hard disk drive you can see all these three things are very very important in a personal computer now let me show you the RAM you can see here this is a RAM random access memory it can be easily connected just you have to press this into this board it will be automatically locking you can see here the RAM is fixed this is a processor fan you can see this is used if the processor is overheated now there is another fan in this side you can see there are two fans now you can see here this is very very useful one the SMPS the full form of SMPS is switched mode power supply also known as switching mode power supply you can see here the SMPS is an electronic power supply system that makes use of the switching regulator to transfer electrical power effectively to your computer you can see here there are different wires which are connected to the DVD drive to the floppy disk drive as well as the hard disk these are all the important parts inside a central processing unit now let us see about LED a LED is a flat panel display that uses an array of LED emitting diodes as pixels for a video display their brightness allows them to be used outdoors where they are visible in the sun for store signs as well as billboards uh, this is a traditionally old CRT computer monitor the image on CRT display is created by firing electrons from the back of the tube of phosphorus located towards in front of the screen you can see this is the connector now let me connect this to the CPU so this can be connected to the CPU like this you can see here let me show all the the green one is the mouse connector the violet one is the keyboard PS2 connector you can see the printer connectors as well as the output for the stereos this is a internet connector LAN connector You can forward this video to all your friends and relatives. During this COVID period, these types of videos will be very, very useful to them. Please share. Thank you.